All right, scandals take center stage for both candidates in last night's debate. For example, what we all saw and heard on Friday was Donald talking about women, what he thinks about women, what he does to women. She got caught in a total lie. Her papers went out to all her friends at the banks, Goldman Sachs, and everybody else. And she said things, WikiLeaks, that just came out. And she lied. Uh, and, of course, uh, we're talking about the transcripts to her speeches uh, to Goldman Sachs and others like that. It was a weekend of bombshell after bombshells. It's signaling, is this signaling an end, a nasty end to both campaigns? Here's a debate. Uh, two people who often disagree. Uh, the Woodhouse brothers, Brad, president of, uh, of Correct the Record, and Dallas, executive director of the North Carolina Republican Party. Dallas, for the most part, I think we can all agree that Donald Trump was actually fighting for his own candidacy, his own legitimacy last night. Did he save it? I, I think he did. I think he passed the test of answering for some salty language and boorish behavior caught uh, on videotape in a private moment. And I think he did something uh, that was very important last night. He shifted the topics of the debate to the major issues of our time, the ones that really affect people, national security, the economy. Uh, that was a public service to the people of America <laughs> and to Miss Clinton. And to Ms. Clinton, who deserves to have the major issues of our time debated, and one of those major issues is her and her fit for office after um, doing what she did to her emails. Brad. <laughs> well, I, I just feel like I'm living in an alternative reality, listening to some of your guests and listening, listening to Dallas. Look, every scientific poll shows that Hillary Clinton crushed Donald Trump last night. The CNN poll said she won by, said she won by 20 uh, 23 points. You actually I mean, think he, that? He plotted. He, I, I, of course I do. I mean, look, this guy plotted around the stage. He interrupted her 18 times. He whined to the moderators. He didn't look the least bit presidential. Look, I know if you think that, it, that emails and Benghazi are the most important uh, questions in the world, you think he you won the debate realize. because that's, Some people because that's the only there, right? thing okay. no, because that's no, the no, only thing you care about. Uh, so let, let's move on to, to Donald it. Trump's salty language never killed anybody. Dude, let's let's Clinton, get specific for, for a question. It wasn't salty mayhem. language, Dallas. He said that he sexually assaulted women. Well, well, he that, said he grabbed them that, that was and he issue, said he kissed them That was forcibly. issue of the first 20 minutes. So real quick, the tax question tripped up Donald Trump last time. Dallas, he seemed to have done much better with it this time, correct? Yeah, I, I think so. And, and I think here's the thing. People know that Donald Trump is rich and they know that he has built uh, an entire private enterprise He's rich empire. and pays no federal and income taxes. No federal well, income taxes, well, Dallas. You don't He's know rich that. I don't believe he, he taxes. Taxes. So effectively he did that with the George Soros. In guy, taxes. The guy George Soros and uh, the Warren Buffett analogy, I think, was pretty strong. They're not running for guys, president. Well, they, uh, they also are both billionaires, and it can explain money at that level. Guys, Brian, thanks so much.